With the presidential election heating up, the decade-old cross-strait service trade agreement with China is back in the spotlight. On Wednesday, the KMT once again declared its support for the treaty, which was never ratified due to public opposition. The DPP lashed out at the KMT, saying the pact would wipe out small businesses in the service sector. Both parties blasted the TPP's presidential candidate, Ke Wenzhe, accusing him of changing his position on the treaty to win votes. Presidential contender Ke Wenzhe has been in a war of words with the Green Camp over whether to restart the cross-strait service trade agreement. On Wednesday, KMT lawmakers joined the fray, declaring their support for the agreement. A complete ECFA has to cover trade in both goods and services. That's always been the position of the KMT. Coenger claimed that what he had opposed back then was the secrets of negotiations, not the treaty itself. But please, no matter what his reasons were, even if he opposed the treaty because of its procedural technicalities, he did still stand opposed to the treaty. Out of campaign considerations, he now wants to court KMT votes, so he switched to supporting the services treaty. The KMT blasted Ke for flipping his stance to win votes. Meanwhile, the DPP spoke out against the treaty once again, saying Chinese capital must not be allowed to enter the Taiwan market. What we're all worried about is a price war. All these laundromats could go under, all these hair salons and other small businesses. Aren't you all worried? What we're even more opposed to is the blue camp and the white camp pushing Taiwan into the One China framework, forcing unification through economic ties. The DPP took aim at both Ke and the KMT. During the Sunflower Student Movement, Ke Wenzhe had really just appeared briefly at the scene to show his face. Actually, everyone can see that Ke Wenzhe is very good at short-term participation. He's good at making short-term gains, at reaping what he can from the zeitgeist. During a visit to the Dajia Jinlan Temple, Ke was asked if he was using the services treaty to win deep blue votes. Ke replied that he wasn't only after deep blue votes, but after everyone's vote. He said the question that should be asked is whether the treaty will benefit Taiwan.